An interesting phenomenon is taking place in China right now. More and more young people are leaving cities and moving back to the countryside. As China enters the world stage as one of the most advanced industrial and modern societies, why are so many young Chinese people giving up the financial promise of cities to toil in the fields back home? For about 4,000 years, agriculture has played a key role in China's economy. And for millennia, Chinese cultivation practices have led the world, while ancient Chinese literature, art and poetry conjures the beauty of the Chinese rural lifestyle. And the romance with nature has never left the Chinese psyche. From the balconies of their city flats to the gardens of their adopted land, you will find Chinese people growing vegetables, even in space. Since the 1980s, people in China have flocked to cities for work, and China embarked on the most rapid urban migration ever seen. Now, 64% of Chinese people live in cities. The older generation sought bright lights and financial promise of cities, but their children are not convinced so. How has the younger generation changed? Younger Chinese aspirations and attitudes towards work are changing. Millennials and Gen Z say they no longer want to live to work, but work to live. Many of them are prioritizing flexibility and work-life balance over financial reward. The vast Chinese countryside offers them an affordable alternative to traditional desk-bound roles. Some of them are being inspired by people like rural lifestyle vlogger Li Ziqi, who has got the world's attention by portraying the ideal rural lifestyle, civilized, peaceful and poetic. Another huge push factor has been cost of living as the pandemic cast a shadow over urban employment. Faced with uncertainties, the appeal of big cities like Beijing and Shanghai is fading for young people. I want to live a kind of life can work every day, see the sun. Also, I this small house. After two years of thinking, I finally found the direction of my life, which is to be in the last decade, the number of migrant workers under the age of 30 living far away from their homes have almost halved, and over 12 million young Chinese people chose to return to their homes to start businesses. And there are practical reasons that make rural life more attractive. So, how has rural China changed? China's sustained economic growth coupled with wealth redistribution through the government's rural revitalization policies have massively improved the rural life. Digitalization has arrived in rural China and internet use has doubled in a decade with 60% of rural residents active online in 2023. All these changes are essential to bring the young Chinese back to the land and they intend to leave their marks in rural areas. How is Gen Z changing the countryside? 我和他家家一直在賣家家的幹能技巧,因為我之前的視頻火了,每天都有人問我,陳子還有嗎? New farmers are embracing the internet enthusiastically. Using live streams, they provide a window into growing practices and processes to give consumers and buyers across China a missing connection with the food that they eat. Using e-commerce giants like Alibaba and JD.com, the world's largest rural e-commerce networks, they market directly to consumers. And these young entrepreneurs choosing to relocate are not just farmers. They work in tourism, open up BMBs, rejuvenating heritage crafts and renovating ancient villages. Is this rural migration a sustainable move or a blip caused by an economic downturn? Will the attitudes of Gen Z reshape China, giving people the choice of a rural or urban lifestyle? I guess the answer resides in the life choices of their own children. <laughs>